Hi, welcome to another vlog. We are back in Chicago, basically a month later, and I'm also back in the parking lot at Oak Brook, about to go back into Louis Vuitton. I also, also just got my nails done again, and I got the exact same that I got last time. I truly am a creature of habit. No, so let's do a little update, a little rundown of what's going on this weekend. It's Saturday, November 12th. I got here at 9.30 in the morning, like I always do, but usually I come on a Friday. I didn't want to miss a day of work because I'm really just here for one reason, and that's to take my dad to see Arcade Fire tonight. That was his like main birthday present. I got the tickets for us over the summer. My dad and I love Arcade Fire. I've seen them maybe three times or four, maybe this is my fourth. Two of those times were with my dad. I'm kind of sad because Beck was gonna be opening for Arcade Fire initially, and I love Beck. He's one of my favorite artists. Like randomly, I'm just like obsessed with him. Um, I have a lot of great memories of like listening to Beck when I was a kid, like riding my bike around my neighborhood. I don't know why, but that's like such a strong sonic memory that I have. And I've never seen Beck live, and he was gonna open for Arcade Fire, and I was so excited. And then he pulled out of the tour, just Google Arcade Fire allegations and you'll figure out why he pulled out. Um, so that sucks. And also just the Arcade Fire situation sucks because I really do love their music. <sighs> Reflector is one of my favorite albums of all time. Top five, perhaps, favorite albums of all time. And fun fact, it was produced by James Murphy from LCD Sound System, who I am going to see in concert next Saturday and is also one of my favorite bands. So, sorry, I'm getting like excited now. But yeah, I love Arcade Fire. I've kind of grown up, not grown up as a kid, but like through my high school into young adult hood years, I've really loved Arcade Fire and their music has just done a lot for me and been such a comfort and it's like, what the? <sighs> Another man sleeping with young girls behind his wife's back. What else is new? It's a real test. Do we separate the art from the artist? Can we? I mean, I'm gonna have to try because I paid for these tickets and I'm taking my dad for his birthday. So that's the plan for tonight. And that's really the only reason that I came. There isn't really any other occasion going on this weekend. So it's a very quick trip. I'm literally flying back early Monday morning. But yeah, like I said, it's Saturday. Landed at 9.30. My dad picked me up in my car. I drove us home, left him at home with all of my stuff, came back out, went to the nail salon, and I got um, a pedicure. I just get gel, like no chip, and I either do white in the summer months or black in the winter months. Like there is no, that's all I ever do. So I just got my black pedicure redone. And then I decided to take the opportunity, like while I was here and I know that they have Chrome and I like this salon and it's not too expensive. I decided to just get the Hailey Bieber nails again. So this is one coat of Funny Bunny. God, is this ever gonna focus? It's one coat of Funny Bunny and then Chrome on top. And I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I love them, I love them. So I just decided to get them again. But yeah, I don't need my hair done. I just got a blowout in New York on Thursday. I just got my lashes done a couple days ago too. So I'm not gonna see Alex this time around, but I'll probably go see her over Thanksgiving. And that's the other thing is Thanksgiving is in two weekends or two weeks, whatever, two weeks from Thursday. I'm literally coming right back in two weeks. And did I buy the ticket yet? No, I did not. Very risky of me just living on the edge, but I don't like the prices. And I know what the price is supposed to be because I've been flying from New York to Chicago for 11 years in a row. I know what the price should be and I don't like it. And I just won't pay for it. So hopefully it'll go down in a few days randomly. I'm still obviously trying to get a lot of stuff done, even though I'm not here for very long. So after my nail appointment, I came straight to Louis Vuitton again. I am hoping to replace my bracelet. I have talked about this bracelet in I think a couple of videos and you can see very clearly right there where it's broken. There's like a little chain that is supposed to connect there. It makes a loop and it is broken. I have had this bracelet, I checked, since 2019. I bought it for myself at the Louis Vuitton in Bloomingdale's in New York on March 6th. 2019 for my birthday. I've worn it every day since, except for the like few weeks or month or so where I was getting it repaired a couple of years ago. Was that last year? I don't know, but I filmed it. I think it may have been during Vlogmas, like two years ago. I wear it every single day. I've worn it every single day, all of 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, mostly, you know? It's part of their like fashion jewelry collection, so it's not real gold, brass plated. It just looks very tarnished, and I've considered getting it redipped, but uh, the people that I work with in the Diamond District, when I used to work 
in luxury jewelry they were like i don't think that's a good idea um just because of the quality of like the fact that it's brass plated means it probably won't like hold very much longer so you should just like not mess with it and it did break like a little um link came open i think it was two years ago and i got it fixed at the local jeweler like by my dad's house they fixed it for 10 bucks i'd taken it to louis vuitton and they were like oh this is normal wear and tear like we won't fix it and i was like oh okay i was kind of thinking they would have replaced it back then but they didn't so anyway i got it fixed once and now here we are and it's broken in a different place to be fair it broke when i was at work and we were dealing with like a lot of heavy like boxes we were like trying to create a display for um, like a pop-up that we were doing and this like really heavy old-fashioned vintage trunk that we have to like use for the display I was like pulling it out of a box and it the corner like went into my bracelet and just like sliced it and I was like oh but like all things considered I've worn this bracelet every single day for like four years it feels like a part of me you guys know all of my jewelry when it goes onto my body like it just doesn't come off this feels like a part of me it's like a signature thing I adore it I love how dainty it is and I just want a new one and at first First, I thought that they don't even make them anymore, but they do. And according to the Louis Vuitton website, it's in stock at this store. So much like the last time I was home and I went to get my new bag, we're just going to walk in. If they have it, I'll buy it. If they don't, I wasn't meant to buy it today it retails for 520 which is a lot for something that's broken twice but i also like i said wore it every single day for four years so i don't know i feel like it nets out to be worth it and as i explained in my last vlog when i was in chicago it really does pay off to buy things here in oak brook and save on the taxes so that's what i'm gonna do then i'm gonna get jimmy john's because that's what I always do. I'm gonna go home, relax for a little bit, and then my dad and I are going to the United Center tonight for the concert. Tomorrow, I have a table at Federales, which is my favorite place to go when I'm in Chicago with um, Kyra. We're going to Feds tomorrow, and we're gonna day drink and fuck around and have a great time. And then I'm going back Monday morning, that's it. So it's a very, very quick trip, but I still like to vlog when I'm here, just cause it's fun and I like to talk in my car. I'm also just like low-key happy to be in my car, in my fleece. This is a new fleece. It's from Anine Bang via Revolve, thanks to Lauren Elizabeth. I was so obsessed with it on her. I was like, I need that. And now it's on my body. So that's usually how those things work. And I'm wearing brand new Uggs. I'll show you my outfit later. I look like classic, typical suburban white girl. And I'm just kind of like here for it. You know, I'm just like leaning into the stereotype and I'm really vibing. I need to go inside now and see what the situation is. But I will hopefully check back in with you guys shortly with a new bracelet on my arm and less money in my bank account. Ta-da! Oh my god, you can really tell because it's actually gold-plated and it looks very shiny. My other bracelet looks so freaking busted in comparison. Just for the record, it's like snowing now. Light flurries, but it is snowing. Anyway, that was easy as pie. I put the old bracelet in here and I had her put on the new one for me because... I basically can't do it by myself and I knew once clearly once it goes on it's never coming off so I'm very happy it looks like so nice even if it lasts like three years that's fine no but it'll last four years I'm sure it'll last just as long I'm very happy with it thank god it retails for 520 on Louis Vuitton's website you have to go to the fashion jewelry section it's the blooming supple bracelet there's a matching necklace too which is super cute the air is dry outside it is very cold I am not drinking enough water at the moment actually I might go to Whole Foods and get like a bunch of waters to leave in the car and then I'm gonna go to Jimmy John's and get lunch for myself and my dad it's 2.40, so just enough time, I feel like, to eat and kind of relax for a couple of hours. And then honestly, I'm just gonna wear my Skims, like, long lounge dress, the black one, with, like, my platform sneakers and probably, like, my, I have, you've probably seen it before, I think I wear it a lot, the Blackhawks, like, what's it called? There's, like, a term for that jacket, but it's, like, a sporty sort of oversized, it used to be my dad's, obviously, it's, like, black, it says Blackhawks. Anyway, it's like kind of casual sporty vibes. Like I'm not even gonna put on makeup to go to this concert tonight. Like 
I really don't care. I'd rather save my skin for tomorrow. I don't know why. Like, what the fuck is that? I have, like, a few pimples here. And normally, like, I'll get those, like, the few days of my period. My period ended, like, over a week ago. And they didn't go away. And I'm very confused because I use my same topical treatment, clindamycin. And it usually, like, gets rid of it immediately. So I'm just like, uh. So that's not fun. But I also feel like, low-key, I feel like I've been, like, not stressed. You know what? I haven't been stressed. Like, I don't want to all things considered I feel like everything is going fairly well in Samantha's world and like I have a ton of work opportunities and there's a lot of exciting things happening at work like I said there's so many concerts coming up Kyra's coming to New York next weekend and going to LCD sound system with me I'm seeing wild nothing on Thursday which is my favorite artist if you guys don't know like literally of all time like of all time yeah there's just like a lot of exciting things happening in like november and december but i feel like it requires a lot of strategy with like i'm you know working at this time and i have to leave early and have this person cover for me and like da da da, da. and you know i'm like i want to have a social life and see my friends and like when do i get groceries oh my gosh like when do i get my blowouts and get my hair done and get my nails done like all these little things like still need planning and i have to like play a lot of tetris with my schedule the next couple of months just because of how busy i am and i feel like Sometimes when I get like stressed in that way, I feel like I catch myself like touching my face a lot So maybe I just need to stop fucking touching my face or I like fidget a lot like fidget with myself. That sounds Fucking weird. Anyway, did I show you guys already my pullover? I love it I've been wearing it like every other day and I'm just wearing the aloe. You can't see them Can I show you my Uggs somehow? They're the platform slippers. They're called Disquette something like that. I got the chestnut ones and I had to size up. I'm a nine, but I had to get these in a 10 because the nines were too small. And then I'm wearing the aloe seven eighths flutter leggings. They're like high-waisted black and they have like a slit in the front. I own them in the regular. They are like too long and I keep saying I need to get them hemmed at the tailor and I never remember to bring them when I fucking go to the tailor, but they like drag on the floor unless I wear them with my Naked Wolf platforms, which is annoying because I want to wear them with like regular sneakers. Anyway, they came out with them in a seven eighths version, which means they're like slightly shorter and they are the perfect length perfect length i'm five six for reference but they're perfect like they don't need to be tailored i love them i'm obsessed with them this has kind of been my uniform for the past like week either these aloe leggings or i love the splits 59 raquel leggings i got them in like a gray heather gray and i'm obsessed perfect length also though on the splits 59 website you can order certain lengths i don't know i'll link the one down below that i got but it's like perfect and they're not too long and uh, this guy's gonna park next to me and i'm vlogging anyway i should go i have food to buy i'm so freaking hungry goodbye from my car i'm just gonna call this a vlog in my car this is such a personality pick literally me <laughs> I ended up going into Target because it was like kind of on the way home. They had like a whole case of liquid death. I tried the like green sparkling lime one the other day. It tasted disgusting. I hated it. Don't recommend that. But I don't know why I just really like this one. I just, this is my preferred like bottled water. Obviously normally I drink water like at home out of my hydro flask. I put my liquid IV in. I just use my Brita filter. I just drink from the tap in my Brita filter. But if I need water on the go and I don't want to carry my hydro flask around because I want to be able to recycle or throw away whatever I have, liquid death is randomly lately my favorite because I think because I like how provocative and annoying it is. Don't park next to me. Okay. I also got some like sour gummy candy while I was there because I just felt like I needed to have that in my life. And I just got Jimmy John's for my dad and I and now I'm going home. Gotta go. spoken today i could kind of feel last night at the concert that i was like my voice was my throat was kind of bothering me not in like a sick way like i don't feel sick at all it's just like i'm losing it and i was thinking about how so many arcade fire songs require you to like sing and like 
you know, participate. And I'm just like, ugh. It's Sunday. It's like 9.30. I need to go get coffee for my dad and I. And then I'm just going to kind of slowly start to get myself ready. I'm picking up Kyra. I probably should leave at like 11. Get her at 11.30. And then bring us back down. Down to more downtown. And um, yeah, so we can have time to park and get to Fett's at noon. But I don't think it's right that I should just like wake up and start drinking tequila. I mean, I could do that. But I'm going to go get an iced coffee. And actually, I might get like... A croissant or something as well just so that there's something else in my body normally we would not meet this early like noon on a sunday but she has to work later today and we wanted to we wanted to use up all the time that we could i'm just gonna do a mobile order while i'm still in my garage and by the time i get there maybe it'll be ready probably not the starbucks is so slow i'm literally still on my wi-fi in my garage that's funny for my dad i'm getting him a grande iced coffee, two pumps of mocha, and two pumps of peppermint. And then for myself, you guys, I have been really liking the sugar cookie syrup at Starbucks, which makes sense because, like, I love cookie dough and I love sugar cookies. But I'm going to try and, like, invent my own. This is probably going to be gross, but I don't care. Like, sugar cookie peppermint, like peppermint sugar cookie. I feel like I'm asking for maybe a disgusting drink, but I'm going to try it. Maybe I should do white mocha, sugar cookie syrup, and peppermint syrup. That's so much. Or should I do sugar cookie peppermint and oat milk? Let's do that. <laughs> this might be gross. We're about to find out. And then I'm also going to get a food. Wow. This, I have a bad feeling this is going to be disgusting. <clears throat> if it's disgusting, you heard it here first. And maybe I should have added white mocha. Anyway. How's my face look today? Not great. Someone commented on one of my videos the other day, like, how old are you? And I was like, 29. And they're like, oh my God, you have such a baby face. And I was like, maybe I do, but maybe it's also just because I still get acne. No, but seriously, I think because I still get acne, like that means my face is still producing oil, which I think keeps it from, you know, like I haven't had any Botox or anything like that done. But, like, I have friends that are 23 and, like, get Botox all the time. And I'm like, no, thank you. Sometimes I sleep very intensely. And I don't know if this makes sense to any of you guys. I wake up and the imprint of the sheets is, like, in my skin. Like, you can see the pattern. And that's how I know I was, like, in a deep sleep. And I think I smashed my lashes. Anyway, all right, let's go. Is it disgusting? I'll let you know. Um, like I'll drink it. I just don't know if I'll order it again. What did I do wrong? Someone work at Starbucks want to comment and let me know. Eh, it's fine. It'll do. Okay, well, I'm going to go home and start getting ready. And then I will check back in with you when I like look so super cute in my outfit. It's very cold today, so I think I'm going to make a little edit to my outfit. I was going to wear these pants I got from Meow from their, like, huge sale, which I'm so sorry by the time this video's up. That sale was probably over. They had 70% off of so many things, and they had these pants that I'm, like, obsessed with, and I got the matching long sleeve, but I wanted to, like, mix and match them, so I only brought the pants, and I brought my, like, Skims black sculpting bodysuit which is like a tank top bodysuit i'm not wearing that today but then i also brought my black long sleeve cropped turtleneck from american apparel so i'll probably wear that with like my long black coat and my platform boots from naked wolf anyway once again rambling for no reason goodbye <laughs> Isn't it comical, like, how different I look when I put makeup on? I'm literally a different person. You guys, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or how you're gonna be able to see this, but I'm using my new Pat McGrath palette that I got during the Sephora VIB whatever sale. It has this, like, chrome brownish blue, which some makeup artist once told me that that would be so good with my blue eyes, and I kind of agree. I really like it. I'm finishing my coffee. I have a water. Kyra and I ended up pushing our reservation back an hour because she was running a little late and then I was like, wait a minute, I haven't even started my makeup. Like, I'm running late and who knows what traffic will be like. I kind of want to listen to really old music. This is what we're going to listen to. Anyway, I'm off. I will show you my outfit a little bit later. Bye.
my girl. Favorite human. Found it. Okay. Hi. Okay, I'm out. He's like goodbye. Hey, you got one up there? Yo, what up, what up, what up? Look at him. Oh, oh, oh. Crazy, you're the hair.